There's one. Holy cow. What's up guys and welcome to a new video. So today we are out fishing on the Ginu LT25 and not gonna lie to you, it's been a rough start. So my wife's out of town and my dad's busy today. So we're doing a solo trip and I gotta be honest with you, <clears throat> I debated not even coming because we had a cold front last night. It feels absolutely gorgeous right now. But we had a cold front last night. There was a hurricane like four weeks ago. So I know there's probably a lot of debris in the water. That's why I haven't fished in so long. Um, so I wanted to give it time to, you know, for the debris to make its way and also for other fishermen to explore the areas with their boats because I don't want to mess up my boat. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I debated, I almost didn't come. And I told myself, you know what? You can sit around the house, think about going, or you can just go. Worst case scenario, you catch a little sun and hopefully some fish, but you never really know. So dropped my freaking rod in the water this morning. <laughs> it was a disaster. Oh man, but uh, we're gonna make it happen and hopefully we can turn this thing around. Do a little bit of exploring as well. Um, like I said, there was a hurricane, two major hurricanes that hit this area about a month ago and we've just been super busy cutting down trees and everything ever since then that we haven't really had time to get out and do anything real fun. Uh, we haven't rode the dirt bikes, haven't rode the street bikes, haven't gone fishing. So today I'm going fishing. So let's get to it. We just hooked into something real good. Just peel and drag. Haven't seen it yet. Holy cow. It's one of those days you go out and like everything's going so badly until all of a sudden it's a huge snook. Raise my motor up. Oh god. It's a huge snook. This one. This is a big girl. Holy cow, guys. Oh my god. I'm gonna quit playing around because this girl's worn out. She made some long, long runs. So I don't know if I was recording or not on this camera, but that camera obviously got the whole, the whole fight. Guys, 
That right there is a freaking stud. To think how rough this day started. And now this. This has got to be 30 plus all day long. You can see we got them right on the corner of the mouth with that Z-Man jerk shad. That's a five inch jerk shad. Dude, he has got, I should say she has got a mouth on her. Come on, open up. Oh, Jesus. You're a beautiful girl. You are a beautiful girl. Guys, this is one of those times that everything's going a little rough, you know, to start the day. But now we have landed a absolute slob of a snook. Good God, look at that girl. Holy, just look at that. What an absolute beast. This is right here, this is why we come out. On the zero there. And we've got 33 and a half, almost 34 inch snook. Beautiful, let's get a release on her. All right guys, give you one last look at this monster and we're gonna let her go. All right, we're giving her a revive right now and she's kicking out already. Are a beauty. I'm just happy I came out today, guys. Honestly, she didn't even frame my line up that much. I don't think I'm gonna retie. Hopefully, I don't regret that later. <laughs> but uh, for for now, we're just gonna leave it. That is a five-inch jerk shad on the Z-Man. I believe the color is red bone. I, I usually get red bone or Houdini. They're very similar, but I believe this is red bone. So. What a monster. My, I'm kind of in shock right now. Everything was going wrong. I dropped my rod in the water this morning. I freaking couldn't get live bait because the bait shop was closed since the hurricane. And that right there is just unreal. Like, blows my mind. This is why I love fishing. This is why, right here, this is why I love fishing so much. Because it can go from zero to a hundred in like a split second. I felt that thump and it just took off. It was amazing. I have no words. Other than what I've been rambling about. There's a deep hole right here that a lot of trout like to hang out in sometimes. So, I'm trying to see if I can catch a trout real quick. I say real quick, it's never the case. <laughs> Especially when the GoPros roll on. There we go. Look at that. What did I tell you? <laughs> All right, he's not a monster by any means. He's a little guy. But this means we could get another slam today. He is old. He's kind of a pip squeak to be honest with you. The little ones are always the feistiest. But that's him. He's a, they're beautiful fish, absolutely stunning. Um, but we're gonna get this guy back real quick. All right, little buddy, thanks for playing today. All right, got a snook, got a trout, and uh, maybe we'll get a redfish, who knows? I blew it, but let's give it a shot. Let's see if he's still in there. He chased it all the way out. He was all over it too.
There it is. There it is. There's my redfish. There it is, boys. We did it. We pulled off the slam. Only one of each, but uh, I'll take that. I'll take that every day. Look at that. Switched it up to the Ned rig, and boom. Got on the redfish, baby. The grind paid off today. It's one of the prettiest redfishes I've caught in a really long time. Look at that. Very golden. Like he just came off the beach, maybe. All right, we're on the zero there. And we're just shy of 20 inches. Right at 20, realistically. All right, guys, you saw first. 20 inch redfish on the Ned rig. Let's get a release on this girl. And there she goes. All right, so that was a lot of, that was a lot of fun. Days like this make me really realize why I love fishing so much. So, if any of you are wondering, I was throwing all of this on a Shimano Stratic 2500 with a Terramar medium light, I believe. Uh, yes, medium light. So, there's that. TRD tickler right there from Z-Man with the Ned rig. It's a little messed up right now, but you get the picture. So very finesse, slow fishing for that redfish. Um, yeah, I think things just slowed down and that's what it took to uh, get that guy in the boat and get the slam. So let's go. All right, so my fellow Floridians, you guys know just as well as I do, nothing hits like a pup sub on a boat. For you that don't know, Pub Subs are Publix Subs, which are a grocery store here down in Florida, that I absolutely love. They're phenomenal. Just, I'm not looking for a sponsorship because that'll never happen. Just letting you guys know. If you ever visit Florida, you have to get a Publix Sub or Pub Sub as the locals call it. So, I am done fishing. I, I only caught three fish, but it was, one of those days that I'll remember for a while. It was it was a good day. Um, sometimes these solo trips are worth the time and effort that they take. I'll have to go home and clean the boat and it's a little bit of work, but you know what? I had a blast, had a great day. Um, caught some awesome fish, solid redfish, phenomenal snook. You know, I haven't caught a snook over 30 inches in quite a while. So I am gonna enjoy this pub sub and a little brownie that my mother-in-law, thanks to Heather's mom, um, made me last night. So, a little pick-me-up, little sugar rush. It's not a special brownie, but uh, it is special. So, I'm gonna enjoy this sub, and then uh, we'll head out. Thanks for watching, guys.